Hi, I'm Donzel with PS Arts. Welcome back to Artie's Book Nook. This month, we're reading Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. Giraffes Can't Dance is a story about a giraffe named Gerald who finds belonging by expressing himself authentically. This story teaches us that no matter what others say about us or how they perceive us, we have the power to forge our own path and to shine our lights brightly. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh. I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up to the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald early on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music, if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt into the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how but Gerald simply twirled around and finished 
with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Giraffes Can't Dance is a wonderful book all about how we find acceptance and belonging when we express ourselves authentically. Not worrying about what anyone else has to say, when we listen to our hearts, we can express ourselves fully and rightly, finding community along the way. That's why Giraffes Can't Dance is our book of choice for Express Yourself, PS Arts' annual fundraising event. Find our Artie's Book Nook booth at Express Yourself on Sunday, April 28th. Together, we'll read, listen, reflect, and create in ways that allow us all to express ourselves. Click the link in our bio for this month's book and how you can join us at Express Yourself. <laughs>